We are going to talk about solving quadratic equations using square roots. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero is the general form of a quadratic equation. If B is equal to zero, we can solve these quadratic equations using square roots. Some people might say using the square root property. Let's look at a problem. X squared equals 25. I see that this is a quadratic equation. I have an X squared. I do not have an X to the first. B must equal zero. And zero times X is just zero. So there is no need to write the X to the first term. In this situation, I can solve this quadratic equation using square roots. In order to solve these, I want to get my squared term by itself. And then I will take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is just x. And the square root of 25 is 5. But whenever you take the square root of both sides, your answer will be plus or minus. Let's investigate this a little further. If I plug in 5 for my variable, I will have 5 squared equals 25. Well, 5 squared is 25, and 25 equals 25. I got a true statement when I plugged in 5 for my variable. What if I plugged in negative 5 for my variable? I will have negative 5 squared equals 25. Well, negative 5 squared is 25. Once again, I get a true statement when I plugged in negative 5 for my variable, which is why we have two answers for this problem. X equals negative 5 or X equals 5. We can also write this as X equals plus or minus 5. Let's try another problem. 2X squared plus 3 equals 75. I see that this is a quadratic equation. I have an X squared. I do not have a variable to the first power. I can solve this using square roots. To begin, I need to isolate the squared term. I will subtract 3 from both sides. I will have 2x squared equals 72. My squared term is still not by itself. It is being multiplied by 2. I will divide by 2. x squared will equal 36. The squared term is completely by itself. I will take the square root of both sides. The square root of x squared is just x. Remember, when you take the square root of both sides, you need plus or minus, and the square root of 36 is just 6. Let's keep working. y squared minus 50 is equal to negative 5y squared plus 4. I see that this is a quadratic equation. I see the y squareds. I do not see any variables to the first power. I can solve this using the square root property. Let's first gather our squared terms. I will add 5y squared to both sides. 1y squared and 5y squared will be 6y squared. I want to isolate the squared term. I will get my constants on the right. The opposite of subtracting 50 is to add 50 to both sides. I now have 6y squared equals 54. Do not take the square root yet. 
The squared term is multiplied by 6. I will divide both sides by 6. I will have y squared equals 54 divided by 6 is 9. And now the squared term is by itself. I will take the square root of both sides. The square root of y squared is y. I did take the square root of both sides. So I will put plus or minus, and the square root of 9 is 3. Watch the other videos on using square roots to solve quadratic equations.